Hey there, guys. Chet here. Connecting new apps can sometimes feel a bit complicated, but the N8N connection for Microsoft Teams is incredibly simple, and I'm going to show you just how fast and easy it is to get set up and ready to automate. Now, unlike some other connections that require creating developer apps or copying API keys, this one is much more direct. We can handle the entire process right from inside our N8N account, and it is one of the easiest connections to set up. It really shows how much thought the N8N team puts into making things so user-friendly. Now, you ready? Here we go. To get started, let's go to our N8N dashboard. We're going to click the plus button at the top left of the screen, hover or mouse over credentials, and then select the personal option from the menu. We're creating a personal credential, which just means it will be saved securely in our account for use later. The great thing about this is that you only have to do this setup process one single time. After this, you can use the same connection for any workflow that needs to talk to Microsoft Teams. This will open up a window with a long list of all the possible apps that N8N can connect to. There are a lot of them, so we'll just use the search bar at the top to find what we need quickly. In the search bar, just start typing Microsoft Teams. You will see an option appear called Microsoft Teams OAuth2 API. That is the one that we want to use. Go ahead and click on it, and then click the Continue button. Now, N8N will take you to the final connection page. You'll notice right away that there aren't any complicated fields to fill out or any keys to paste in. There's just one simple button waiting for you. All you need to do here is click the button that says Connect My Account. This is the point where N8N securely hands you over to Microsoft to handle the sign-in process. As soon as you click that button, a new tab will open in your browser, taking you to the official Microsoft sign-in page. It's important to know that this is Microsoft handling your login, not N8N, which is what makes it so secure. So go ahead and sign in with the Microsoft Teams account that you want to connect to your N8N workflows. After you successfully sign in, Microsoft will show you a permission screen. This is a very important step in the process. This screen tells you exactly what permissions N8N is asking for. It will list the things like the ability to read your channel information or to send messages on your behalf. This is a standard procedure and is necessary for N8N to be able to perform actions for you later. To approve it, all you have to do is click the accept button. Once you click accept, the window will close and you'll be redirected back to N8N. You will immediately see a confirmation message telling you that the credential was created successfully. And that is literally all there is to it. Your Microsoft Teams account is now securely connected to N8N, ready to be used in any of your future automations. And listen, if you found this useful, I go a lot deeper inside of my school community. I built a complete N8N course where you'll learn how to go from beginner to advanced systems to building advanced systems, plus live calls and exclusive templates that you won't find anywhere else. I put the link down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.